Welcome to the Divine Feminines podcast and channel. I'm your host, Steph Desar, and in today's video, we're talking 666 portal energy. What does that mean? What does the number six mean? Everyone says it's a negative number. No, it isn't. That was just false lies, pretense. I'm going to tell you the truth today and why it's important to access this portal and get the most out of it. But before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. It's Divine Feminines on YouTube and all major pla podcast platforms. That's Apple, Google, Spotify, you name it. And we're on Instagram and TikTok. That's Divine Feminines with a Z. And I have to say, I'm on the move right now with the lovely backer executive cars. I've got to promote my dude over here because he set me up in the back. I was like... Becca, I need to do this. I need to do this video, and I didn't do it last night because I was preparing for a journey, which um, you'll probably see my my background change as you see some of the other videos coming out over the next weeks and months. But um, yeah, he was like, "Look, I got you, Steph. I've got the music. I'm gonna keep quiet. I'm gonna let you get on with it." And there was me faffing about, but he's ready to hear about what six 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 means. And um, I hope you guys are too. And I had to get this message out because it's such a powerful day. I didn't even plan to move on this day or to travel on this day, but my higher self has prepared me to take the journey on this day. I was gonna go a few days before, but for some reason it happened today. And then when I realized, I'm like, that's the 666 ball. Okay, so Steph, what does it mean? The number six. Right, so today is the 6th of June, so that's the first six. June is a month six, that's another six. And then this is a universal year six. And in numerology, 2022, that's two plus zero plus two plus two equals six. So this is what makes it a 666 portal. Now, in this month of June, we've got three instances of 666 portal. Today, the 6th of June, as it opens. Then we've got the 15th of June, because one and five equals six. And then we've got um, the 24th of June, so two and four equals six. So it's a very powerful month for us. And now, if you didn't listen to my beginning of the year, I did the vibration of 2022 with the lovely Jonathan L. Dem, who's a numerologist. He broke it down for us. I'm going to remind you guys, this year six, the number six embodies a lot of healing, divine love, balance. It's a very positive number and actually it's only because of energies and powers that be that change the number six to be something that is a satanic number and is not a good number. And then obviously if everyone's programmed to think that way, they start to, you are what you think. So if you start thinking something's negative, you're only going to manifest negative outcomes. And you know what I'm about, guys, and you know what I'm always telling you. We're here to empower ourselves. We set our own belief systems up. So this six number now is bringing us opportunities of healing of our own self relationships with self, with our relationships with others, with bringing in balance and harmony. It's also the lover's card in um, tarot, which is Gemini energy. We're in Gemini season. So shout out to all the Geminis that are having their solar return. And also if you've got sun, moon, rising in Gemini, you might feel this energy a lot. But it's a powerful manifestation portal. We've just finished the new moon um, just last week. But the energy of the new moon brings us into this portal. And it's a great time. And I always explain that portals with a repeating number cycles have a very thin veil to our higher realms. So it's a very powerful time to call in miracles, manifestations. So as you would set intentions for a new moon, you can do that in this energy of the 666 portal. So number six is also related to the planet, the goddess Venus, which is love. Um, and so this is a really powerful time to cultivate the self-love. I'm personally doing a lot of that um, over the course of today and the weeks to come. I do it all the time. I, I make sure it's a part of my day-to-day, -day, but I'm specifically going to be tapping in to myself and my self-love and going into more deeper understanding of myself. Because um, we can we can always get deeper we can always go into parts of us that we haven't even been able to because in our day-to-day -day lives it, it can get really tough like 
you know, we're like, we've got routines and we're like, okay, I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes or I'm going to do a little quick, you know, walk through nature in the park. But, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it's, it's a bit challenging. You can't, you can't really do all of that, you know, um, and really get into the zone. So this number six is calling us to really go within. And I'm always talking about that, but this is going to give you heightened results for healing of yourself. And remember, if you want to call in manifestation and you're going, oh, these things are not happening, it's because there's blocks. And that's not a bad thing, but we have the blocks within us. So when we do the internal work and we figure out what it is within us, our thought patterns, our behaviors, our, our beliefs, whatever it is in our shadows, um, shadow, then when we start to unravel, unpick that and understand it and sort of allow ourselves to reprogram, we can basically create an external difference because our external realities start to change. I mean, everything that happens is a part of our universe. So we create our universe because our universe is within. So this is also a very powerful time to have healing of relationship with family, friends, everything um, that involves um, interaction with others. It could be at work, um, it could be in a love relationship. Um, now, let me, let me get into love. So I said, let's talk about love, but before I do, Baka driving up front, when I was telling him about 6'6", he was like, it's my daughter's birthday. I'm like, wait a minute, what? And he's like, 6'6", six, six. and I was like, no. This is beautiful. This is such, your daughter was born on such a powerful time. And today, her birthday on this day on 666. I mean, we won't get a 666 like this because next year it's going to be 2023. So that's a different year altogether. That's a year seven, right? So um, it'll be more about maybe the 777 portal. <laughs> so um, back to love. For those of you that are in love connections, um, already in divine counterpart, um, sacred unions with soulmates. Maybe you're already coming into a divine counterpart union with a twin flame or high vibrational soulmate. This is going to only enhance and accelerate the, the, the energies, but it's all about the nurturing of self. It's all about how you're showing up for yourself in terms of how you manifest with, with those in your life, particularly your, your divine counterpart if it's with family as well it's how you're showing up for yourself and we're in the Saturn retrograde right now and it, um, Saturn went retrograde on um, Friday uh, the 4th not Friday the 4th which was Saturday the 4th of June and um, when Saturn's in retrograde it's in retrograde till the 22nd of October that's my dad's birthday actually and the day I got married when I was married but anyway, significant time between now and the 22nd of October, when Saturn's in retrograde, it's a chance for us to reset boundaries. What is it that we allowed ourselves to let happen? Maybe we have been a little bit undis undisciplined or we've not been as vocal or as clear with others about what we want from dynamics and what is going to help us be our best selves, right? So whatever those boundaries are with yourself, always start with yourself, but also with whatever dynamics you've got, with work, with family, with friends, with your partner, Saturn Retrograde is here to help you to re-establish those boundaries. So you may have made decisions before that now you're like, wait, those decisions weren't quite right because my life doesn't feel very balanced. You can change those decisions. Remember, like, don't kick yourselves for decisions that you've made and you're like, actually, that didn't seem to work right. You can make another decision. Choices are choices because a choice allows you to make another choice. And that's why I say no choice is the wrong choice. Because even if you make a choice and you learn, okay, that's not quite right, I can make another choice. Now, the number six is a number of big choices, big decisions. So you may be going for a moment right now where you're being called to make a really powerful decision change. Why is my hair sticking to my top? <laughs> okay, um, so the lover's card in tarot is Gemini. You see two lovers, but it's also in tarot back in the days, also represented the choice. It's a significant choice point in your life. Am I gonna 
leave the job? Am I going to change my career? Am I going to start up that business? Am I going to take the risk and go into that, that relationship? Maybe it's also a divine counterpart relationship. A high vibrational soul connection relationships can be quite challenging because you go through some significant separations. You go through pain and healing and you're going through lots of different struggles and then you're being brought back together and you're being asked to trust to you know to you've done all this work but now it's about putting it into practice and that could be quite you know it could be quite challenging for you because you're like your ego is like no 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 you've done this before and they did this and that happened and they lied and but you forgave that. You forgave the version of you that was in that situation. So for anyone that's going through this right now, know that you can you can come at this different. And know that it's not what I'm being channeled to tell you is that you can take this risk. You are much more wiser, you are much more stronger, and you are much more knowledgeable. So it doesn't matter if you go at this and it's you know stuff goes wrong right that's fine that's totally fine things can go wrong but it doesn't mean that things have to end you can work through it now you will not be brought into these opportunities of divine unions or merging into what is going to become a union if the universe didn't think it was right this is a significant year for twins and high vibrational soulmates to form their unions because they're helping to form the new blueprint for love which is a conscious love it's a, not a love that's clingy it's not a love that's i do this for you it's transactional it's all about i love myself first if i give to you i'm giving to me it's it's inter, interdependence it's healthy it's owning your energy and also being accountable for the energy that you create with the other so like i said it's this is the moment to really consider what's going on with you and don't worry too much about other people because as long as you're grounded and this is my message right now it's all about grounding it's all about taking time to reflect we just come out of this mercury retrograde as well but we're in the shadow period so it's an important time to still just allow yourself to integrate to take just take stock self-reflect get out your journals write your key intentions anything that you set at that new moon you can write those down now what is it that you want to bring harmony towards what is it that you want to release to allow you to call in more love of self what do you feel is holding you back from going towards um, a new connection a new start with someone what is it that you think that you need to change in terms of boundaries because of your relationship with family friends work what is it that you need to do to make that significant change? Maybe you've been thinking about the decision. Like, do I go for this relationship? Do I leave this relationship? Because maybe, maybe you're realizing that you're leaving something that's not a conscious love. You're not able to be your, your true divine self in, and you need to let go of it. If that is the case, you may be feeling that for the last few months even the last six months of january since january right started this year going oh, i didn't i said i was going to make changes and i didn't now is the time that decision might be looming around and as we lead up to the next set of um eclipses in november there's massive changes happening between now and november we are now also leading up to lionsgate portal which is the 8 8 portal the 8th of August, a very powerful time. I've been picking up on it since early this year. I was saying to everyone from the eclipse all the way up into Lionsgate, there's going to be significant changes in people's lives. If you're doing the work and you're consciously taking the time for self to show up differently, to transform internally, you're going to be gifted with miracles. You're going to be given the assistance. You're thoughts are manifesting super fast be mindful of your thoughts try to stay present the most attractive magnetic energy you can be is unattached detached and how do you be detached you're present present is equally detached when you're
you're in your moment doing what you're doing showing up the most attractive energy is presence so keep focusing on that self presence in this 666 portal energy throughout the month of june see what it is that you can allow yourself to be more present more just being in your moment being completely conscious in that moment not thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, not worrying, not getting too caught up. Let it go, let things fly quite quickly. All right, so um, I think those are the key things I needed to tell you guys. This is just a powerful time. Take time to meditate, take time to really think about if there's a big decision and you may have, maybe you need to speak up, maybe there's things that you need to, maybe you actually need to make an outward public decision and say you know this is something i need to do it might be to a group of individuals it might be to family it might be to friends it might be so decisions 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 like i said it's a very significant time to make a decision and the lover's card in tarot also represents decisions big decisions so it could be a this is a life changing decision so as i was saying before um, I was picking up on the energies of the eclipse season moving into Lionsgate. We are leading up to Lionsgate 8 8 portal. It's a powerful, powerful moment for us. And then we get into the eclipse um, again in November. So between now and November, there is massive, massive change. And if you're willing to tap into this, do go into deep meditation, go into your own subconscious. It's a great time to clear karma and past life go to guided meditations on youtube you know just it just just um, search for past life guided meditation akashic meditation you can basically use this time to clear we're able to clear karma like i said before saturn retrograde a great time to set boundaries um mercury retrograde is completed but we're in the shadow period so you might still be feeling the rufflings it's really weird out here um, for me being well i was in london in the last few days and it was really sublime, subdued. I really felt I could see the different timelines playing out of old earth and new earth. And this is a real time that you might start to notice a lot of glitches in the matrix. A lot of like, what seems like a simulation, because it is. And because you're being pushed onto your highest timeline and that's why you're witnessing a lot of, you see lots of people, but they're not really people. It's just a simulation. There's only a few key souls out here actually playing a major role for this earth. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's multiple souls out here, but it's not what it really seems. So you're at a real big opportunity now where you're being supported to bring in healing, bring in balance, you know, start something completely new, make a big decision. For those that are coming into divine counterpart, unions, soul, you know, soul connections, twin flames, look, hang in there, because you're going to be tested. You're like, maybe I've done this all before, and then you're, there's a big decision about going into something again. But remember, you've done the work. You've been doing the work. If you have, you've been clearing. Give yourself the chance, and you know what? It's not going to be a risk, because when you love yourself wholeheartedly and you're doing the work for yourself, you will come out of anything that involves another or a dynamic whole, because you went in whole. It's when you go in with your cup half full, or you just don't like um, pay attention to what you need, then you are going to basically um, be more and more drained, right? So you show up and you're accountable for your energy and you're accountable with the other to create harmonious energy and you're always aware that you both create a third energy all the time in that dynamic, right? So just be aware that that is basically... Um, going to still be more work like for those of you that have got been going through the work and having to do a lot of the work um doesn't stop it continues but we're get, being gifted miracles right now so like a new moon journal set intentions do all of that good stuff call in what it is you want the decision that you might be asked to make though is going to be quite significant it could be you know like i said it could be for a new romance relationship it could be leaving a job it could be setting up um, a new business it could be leaving a relationship whatever it is that's being asked for you to decide on during this time from this 666 portal or this season of june know that the decision you make will be bringing in even more positive high frequency blessings and abundance for you you're being pushed onto your highest timeline so this this decision is not coming to you because 
it's a tough, it's a tough life that we're living. We're not living a hard life. It's all about your your perception is your reality. So we're living a, a beautiful life. Your universe is what you make it. This decision is only going to put you onto a higher timeline and into a higher frequency and vibration. If you're willing to go for it, if you're willing to take the call and do the work, this is a great time to really go in and do that work. Those that haven't been doing the work, I'm sorry. I can't even say I'm sorry. Like I'm sorry, but I, that I'm not here to judge. Those that haven't been doing the work will be feeling this. They will be operating at a different frequency and those that have been, do been doing the work will be protected. And this is my final message, protection. During this portal, because the, the energy in the veil is so thin, it's important to protect your energy. I have not been around anyone for the last week or so. And I didn't even know how important it was to protect in this portal. My soul was already calling for it from about two weeks ago. I was like, no, I'm retracting, I'm retracting. The only access I'm given is via this because I know that this message needs to get out there to all of you guys to help you hear something that maybe I'm going to say something that's going to be like, oh, Steph, yes, I've been feeling that. So I'm only, I'm not, you know, you are your own best teacher. I'm only a facilitation. I might say something that might make you realize something. And when you go into your meditations or your own, like, self-reflection, things are coming up. So I'm only here to facilitate that, right? I am not your answer to all questions on earth. I'm not a god. I'm just my own divine self, my own divine being, in my own divine goddess energy, just sharing my light and just sharing some wisdom. And likewise, you can do that with others. So if there's, you know, just protect your energy. If you're seeing that others are going through a tough time right now, send compassion, but don't get drawn out by it. Be careful of how much time you're giving to others as well. Give the time to yourself, because it's gonna really pay off. And like I said, not everyone's taking the call. Not everyone wants to do the work. People are procrastinating and holding back. They're lying to themselves, saying, yeah, 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 but deep down, they're only doing themselves an injustice because it's themselves, right? They are their own freedom. We are our own freedom. Don't blame anyone but yourself. If you don't feel free, it's because you made yourself like that. Take ownership and take accountability. For those that don't want to, look, I'm not judging. You always have a chance. You always have a choice to change. So I hope that everyone chooses that. And if they don't, there's always another lifetime. And some of those that don't, some of the souls that don't choose to fully go down the path in this lifetime will get another chance in the next lifetime. Some of my friends that are on this journey are like, yo, I'm taking all the opportunities to, to just level up, level up. Because I don't want to come back to Earth. Forget this shit. Earth is too dense. Let's just stay on our star. And for those star seeds that are saying that, I hear you guys, just keep doing the work. So with that being said, with lots of love, light, peace and abundance. Stay tuned, I've got more great videos coming out every Friday. There's another one this Friday, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but stay tuned on YouTube. And I have um, a great, um, exciting announcement to make. Thursday, the 28th of July, in the Bedween Tent in Central London, I'm hosting a private exclusive evening, the New Moon in Leo manifestation evening. It's a, it's a very exclusive evening for a select number of people. So when the information gets announced, I would, if I, would, if I was you, I'd like go and check it out as soon as possible. If we start with, um, it's um, a plant-based reception, beautiful water fountain and a lovely garden and then there's tropical fruit so shout out to forever vegan kitchen and dream fruit uk that are going to be helping with that and then we're going to have the contemporary healer um, lead uh, energy cleanse and clearing because before we manifest we're going to clear the energy and we're going to surrender cut cords and we're going to have reiki healing from the contemporary healer a beautiful reiki session that's the first part of the evening the second part of the evening will be guided we'll be, i'll be giving you the energies of the new moon in leo what the energy and the updates of the 88 portal and what that really means and we'll be setting intentions and using manifestation techniques and rituals and magic to really set up ourselves for the next lunar cycle and to access the 88 portal um, I'll also be doing an Akashic meditation that takes you into your own Akashic records 
to access your future records to call those in to assist you on your manifestations. So with that being said, stay tuned and I hope to see some of you there. I'm excited, really excited to say that my first exclusive in-person event in London is taking place. Stay tuned because there'll be more around the world as well and lots of love, peace and abundance. Mwah.